my blow up. Man, it's almost chilly with that wind on a summer day. Maybe we'll be having an early fall. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, <clears throat> anyway, today uh, we got our Massey Ferguson loader. That one's done. So I got to go pick that up from Paint and Body. And so for this Chevy grain truck today, uh, we've got a new motor. I've got to go pick that up today as well. We can stick it in there. So we're going to go jump in our truck here and get going. Today as well, I'm thinking of getting uh, going on harvest again. I know it's been a couple episodes since we've done some harvest, so... I think we got to get back on that again, as well as something I keep forgetting to mention. Uh, you guys are probably, a couple of you guys have probably seen it uh, in the links in the description. I have merch now. Yes, that is right. I have officially have merch. So if you guys are looking for a great Christmas gift, you know, uh, Austin Farmer merch is always great. Anyway, link in description for that one. If you guys want to go check that out. I believe I'll also be doing a discount code for uh, my YouTube members. So if you guys are a YouTube member and you do want a discount, I'm going to try work on that. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can give you guys a discount, so I will definitely be doing that for sure. So we're going to be headed down to the paint and body shop here to pick up that Mazzy Ferguson loader. Finally, that one took forever to do. I want to be able to do that myself here very soon. As soon as I get the chance, as soon as I have the time. Uh, during winter, probably, I'll do a lot more projects. I have a couple... I've been talking to a couple guys. There's apparently a collector of old, old tractors around here. And he has a couple ones that he has, like, as parts tractors, but they're really nice. And he hasn't really taken any parts off of them. And he's maybe willing to sell them. So, we're going to see if we can maybe, maybe get something off of him. Depending. I haven't talked to the, spoke to the guy yet, so we're going to see uh, what we can do over there. I'm going to have to go take check it out before I even vlog it before. But if you guys are enjoying the series, please do drop a like. It really helps out the videos. Let's me know you guys are liking the content you did see. All right, so I, I completely missed the wrong street, so I had to turn back around. But yeah, there she is. She's got the pallet forks on her. I'm wondering if I should just back up. Probably. That way I'm not blocking the road here. I don't want to get a ticket today. You know what? I still think I'm going to be blocking the road. We'll just have to be nice and quick about this one. But uh, after we get this one up loaded up here, uh, we got a motor to go pick up. So we're going to be doing that as well as I don't think we're going to install it today. But I also have a truck coming with uh, I have a something coming with uh, the transmission. So uh, we'll have to go see about that one. I'm not 100% sure what's all going on with that one. But I'm just going to set the pelt forks down here. Oh. I keep catching on the side there. I thought it was good. Okay, there we go. We should be good now. It's going to weigh this thing down a considerable amount. Shouldn't be too bad, though. Yeah, we should be good. That's good enough. Throw a strap. Okay, so we're good to go. All right, so I'm going to head to my motor guy. Uh, we're going to go pick up that motor. Now, side note for the motor, guys. I know this is probably not the right motor for this vehicle. It's role play, keep in mind. So if I, ha if I could get the exact motor, I would be getting that. Just so you guys know. All right, so we're just pulling up here to this... My motor guy here, uh, he's actually the same guy that I bought the Bronco from, and I found out he had a motor too. It's a big Cummins, so uh, super excited about this one. Oh yeah, look at that thing. Yeah, that's going to be sweet. Put in the truck. Again, guys, pretty sure it's not the right motor, so don't roast me in the comments. This is role play. All right, so we're just going to shut the truck off here. We're going to get this loader off here, and we're going to get this thing loaded up here. Now, I completely forget what modding group I uh, got this from. But I will have them linked in the description. It'll probably say like modding group I got the motor from or something and then their link. So if you guys want to go check them out, their link will be in the description. They release cool stuff like this all the time. All right. So just need to lower this down a bit. Oh, okay. It's, being, it's a little funk finicky with uh, pallet forks and farm sim. All right. Engine is loaded up here. So I'm just going to shut this off. I'm not going to put the uh, pallet forks in the pellet just because in case this thing moves around, I don't really want to break the pellet. So we should be all good to go. So I guess we're going to head home here. Oh man, this one's a heavy load for the Chevy. Big motor on there, so we're going to go home. I'm going to drop this thing off the shop, and then we're going to get harvesting, and I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, we're just pulling back in the yard here, so I'm going to get this thing unloaded here as soon as we pull up to the shop. This thing should work perfectly for this Chevy grain truck. Super excited to put it in there. This thing's going to be a beast. It'd be hauling anything. All right, so motor's in the shop now. We should be all good for that. Now, okay, I know what y'all are thinking. Ford's on the lift. It's already broken down. No. I'm just doing an oil change. That's all. Everybody everybody keeps saying that the Bronco's going to break down. Well, y you know what? This thing's going to outlast that Chevy, okay? I'm telling you, that thing's going to outlast the Chevy. Well, maybe not because we're putting a new motor in this thing. That, okay, and another thing, that motor is just a little oversized. So, like, again, role play, guys. Don't freak out in the comments. But I am actually curious. Um, Western Canadian Agribition's coming up. 
And I know a couple of you guys live in Regina, Saskatchewan. And I'm curious how many of you are going there. Because I know I'm going there for a couple days. So I'll be hanging out around there. So I'm curious how many of y'all are going. All right. So Chevy's good there. I'm going to park that there. And uh, we're going to get going and uh, harvesting. All right. So we're back here in the class today. Uh, we're going to get going on these beans here. I think this is beans. I'm not 100% sure. It's kind of hard to tell in farm sim. I guess we're going to see here. No, it's barley. Okay, I thought I planted beans on here. I guess I'm wrong. So, never mind. We're going to get going on the barley here. This shouldn't take too long. It's a pretty small field. We're just going to be doing the headlands and then back and forth. Pretty small field. Well, it's, it's a decent field. It's a decent field. So, it'll probably take a while. So, uh, I'm going to time lapse this for you guys. Those medical pills are push me on. Talk about round winners past to reach a glass to know You don't gotta fight alone
Then fly to home But if you wanna travel Then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us If I never know Yeah, if you're gonna leave I'ma let you go I'm tired of the pain Go Alright guys, we got most of this field done here. Uh, I'm just going to offload the last little bit of this. I'm not going to be able to go too far on a tank that's 92% full. So we're just going to offload it right here. Now, I don't know why the heck that is glitched like that. Yeah, makes no sense. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. And if you're new and you did enjoy the content you did see today, I post every single day. And you guys want to see more of it, subscribe. 20k by end of the year would be pretty cool. Also, check out second channel link description. I'm doing a giveaway there at 1,000 subs. And check out merch link in the description also for that one. But I will see y'all in the next one.